This is part six of our 11 part series covering Brush Studio. In this video, we'll be focusing on the wet mix settings. Wet mix is where we get our more painterly effects when building a brush. So we're going to very quickly make a brush from scratch before we look at the wet mix settings. We don't need any spacing here and we need a less default shape and grain. The default circle shape is fine, but the more interesting shapes and grain that we have applied will allow the paint to be more organically grabbed and moved by our brush. Also going to set this brush to intense blending in the rendering settings. Using uniform or intense blending here will be better for making a brush that feels more like we're using thick paint. Now let's find the wet mix settings on the left, just here. Let's lay down a preview stroke Grab some colour, blue's nice, going to press softly at the start and then harder towards the end. The first setting, dilution, makes the brush behave as though it's holding more or less water. With dilution set to a very high value, we have so much water in our brush that we rely more heavily on the next setting, charge, in order to maintain painting. Charge is how loaded the brush is with paint. We can see here on the drawing pad, even though we pressed harder towards the end of the stroke, with this value amount, our brush is the strongest at first contact and has already run dry by the time we started to press harder. Whereas the next setting, attack, determines how aggressively any paint we put on the canvas is laid down. Next down is pull. This will pull and move paint more at higher values. Next is grade. This will change how soft or heavy the contrast of the brush shape will be, making it a little more or less chunky and visible in the stroke. Last here is wetness jitter, which will randomly vary the amount of dilution at each individual stamp of the stroke. If the dilution slider above is set to none, then wetness jitter will not be allowed to work. All of these settings can work so intimately with each other that it can be difficult to describe one setting without talking about how it could affect another. So let's do that and we'll tailor this brush for a more specific outcome. With a high amount of dilution, we might need some charge in the brush to get paint down, but if we want more control at first contact with the canvas, we can remove charge completely and instead use a little bit of attack. Let's set attack to a nice even 30%. At this point, it's worth a mention that our wet mix settings values can be triggered using pressure and in the case of attack with the tilt angle as well. Let's keep this simple for now and before we road test this new brush, let's set pull to 100% so that the brush will drag paint around even if we're not pressing hard enough to put any paint down. This combination results in a brush that's good for pushing and mixing with a lighter touch but can lay down new paint if we press harder. We have this nice yellow selected and we can see here as we press harder we get some fresh paint from the brush. This is just one example of the kinds of things that we can achieve even if we're using only the wet mix settings and nothing else. But when we start combining wet mix with the other settings found in Brush Studio then things can really start to get interesting. So please always have a play and explore the settings.